brand new weekly vlog. Today is Tuesday and it's kind of already mid-afternoon. I think I might pop you down on the Jo Malone candle again. <laughs> so I've just had a bit of lunch. I had Estee's soup again. I can't stop making it. I think I'm on like my fourth batch so I <laughs> warmed up some of that and then I've just got ready for the Harvey Nichols Theatre of Beauty event that is happening tonight with Look Good Feel Better and I'm so excited. I get to meet, I think it's about 15 of you for 20 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions. So I'm going to be there from four till nine and I can't wait. I think it'll just be really fun and hopefully we can all just chat and talk about makeup and have a bit of food and get our nails done because I really need my nails done and I've already like packed a bag with snacks. I'm like right I'm in it for the long haul so I pack my bags up with snacks and drinks and I pack two of everything in case the person who I happen to be with at the time wants it as well. So that is all packed and ready to go. A few other things to note. You will probably notice that there is just bedding drying up all round the flat because when you live in a tiny flat that doesn't have a tumble dryer, doing your washing of bed linen is just the most frustrating thing, especially in the winter when it takes really long to dry. Like every single door has a sheet thrown over the top of it and it's driving me a bit insane. But hey ho, hashtag small flat problem. <laughs> Another thing is yesterday, I managed to lock myself out of the flat for two hours and it was just the most bizarre two hours of my life. I had loads of um, shopping bags, I'd done a food shop. So I bought them all upstairs, brought them up to the flat, opened the door, put in a few of the bags and then I came outside to bring the rest of the bags in. And as I did that, I saw the door just close behind me in slow motion and I had nothing. I obviously didn't have my keys, I didn't have money, I didn't have my phone, I didn't even have my watch on so I didn't even know what the time was and there was a two hour kind of just bizarre moment of trying to get neighbours to help me and the people at the local convenience shop helping me and trying to get Mark back from work so that he could actually let me in and it was just bizarre and it basically resulted in me having a little nap on our doormat which was surprisingly comfortable but I thought if I have a nap then time will go faster <laughs> and I want to conserve my energy because I don't know how long I'm going to be here for. In two hours passed which actually did go surprisingly quite quickly <laughs> but I will never take my keys for the flat for granted ever again so it was a very entertaining episode but right now I think I have got to go. I don't want to be late for my first appointment and we will probably check in in about six hours time. Well, that was a really nice afternoon slash evening. It was so lovely to see so many of you and thank you so much to everyone who came and raised money for such an amazing cause. It was just a really like nice evening and I had a really good time and now I'm pretty hungry. I haven't eaten since lunchtime so this is happening. Hell yeah. Small pepperoni, extra garlic and herb dip coming my way currently in quality control. Mark is in bed and he's just getting coach trip ready. <laughs> <laughs> coach trip! <laughs> We're obsessed. We can't stop. He's making out that it's me that wants to watch it but I, I know that it's him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me with my first throw. <laughs> and the fur. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> you look so cosy. So I'm not quite sure to start with this one because it is now Saturday evening. I've had a good Saturday. Me and Mark got up early and did the park run, which was really fun. Came fifth from last, but my excuse is that my legs aren't feeling too great right now. So there's definitely some room for improvement there, but it's... The taking part that counts and all that good stuff and then just had a nice breakfast and then Mark went to Sheffield to see some of our old uni friends so I just spent the afternoon editing and doing some bloggy things because the next two days are going to be pretty fun filled. I am looking forward to this. It's currently, oh my phone is going mental, Ooh, don't know what's happening there. It's quarter to ten and I need to be up at 5am tomorrow morning on a Sunday because I'm going to Glasgow, woohoo! But me and Lily are going there to go to the MTV EMAs, double woo woo! Is this even real life? Samsonite got in touch and said, do you wanna come to Glasgow? We'll take you to the EMAs. We were like, uh, yes. 
Ed Sheeran is playing there. You know how much I love Ed Sheeran. There's all sorts of people there and it's just going to be a really fun two days. I've never gone to Glasgow before. So I'm really looking forward to like having a look around. We're going to have quite a lot of time to go to some restaurants and eat and see some cultural things. So I'm well up for that, but I haven't even started packing. Samsonite were very kind enough to send us one of their new suitcases to take with us. Check out that beauty. I actually don't think Mark has ever been so excited about anything in his life. He's a huge Samsonite fan, so he was very happy that we now have one in the household. So I've got to kind of just pack everything together. I've semi-started putting some bits together, but then I got a bit distracted and I've started to do this. Running myself a bath. Priorities, I know, but I've now got goggle box up and I think I'm gonna have a semi-chill evening before throwing some bits in my suitcase and hopefully not having a really late night because 5 a.m. is gonna be quite intense. So I will see you in the morning. My Lumi light is working some serious oversight this morning. I don't know if you can see it. Lily stayed at the one in New York. Yeah, so I was going to try and do a Scottish accent then and I thought about it too much. No. And then I didn't. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. We're in Scotland. That was all right. That was an Indian. That was. Normally it just comes out Indian. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was that great? Uh, we're going to go for a little wander now and pick up our tickets for tonight. Hopefully meet Kate from Ghost Parties, who is a fellow beauty blogger and is an absolute babe. And then just have like a wander, do a bit of exploring. Hotel we go. There's something you should know about me. Aren't I really good? Anna's the best person to go away with because I call her chief navigator. I'm very good at navigating. It really is. There's one thing that I'm good at. I've got a map up here. So we've just checked into the hotel and it is very nice indeed. Look at this. Very bright. It's like a little pod here. It's like a little bathroom. A little spot here. Liking it. <laughs> Lily's just gone downstairs to grab something. And I think we're just gonna chill for a bit before getting a preen on. Fast forward a couple of hours and we we're both ready. Actually it wasn't, not hours, more just like an hour. I had a bit of a makeup meltdown where I tried to do eyeliner. I think I attempted it three times before I just gave up and took it off and instead went for the Lorac Pro Palette on my eyes. I went for kind of big hair, I just curled them with straighteners and this is my outfit. The dress is from All Saints and look, there's a bit of non-black on it. It's kind of like an ox bloody colour. And then I'm just wearing my Whistles boots. And then Lily, what are you wearing? Um, I am wearing Topshop Top. Nice. River Island leather skirt and my Hudson boots. Yeah, and what's on your lips? It's a really nice mix. Um, Tom Ford Black Dahlia and Crimson, Crimson Noir. <laughs> Crimson. <laughs> Crimson. I like it. There was a lot of debate over the lip colour and I think that you got there in the end. Yeah, so now we're just off to go and go. I might actually take the um, very much of the butter and make something a bit peckish and I um... long night but it was really fun and Ed Sheeran was amazing as expected. It was really cool and there were other bloggers there and then we went back to their room and had a Domino's pizza party and I'm full up to hear of Domino's right now. And I just have to say that Glaswegians are so 
friendly. You're such a friendly bunch. So thank you for welcoming us into your city. We've had a great time and we're going to hang around tomorrow as well, but you're going to see that in the next weekly vlog. So I'll see you then. So bye from me. Bye. Bye from Lily. And we will see you soon. Bye.